For Young and the Restless fans, hopefully you're having a terrific hump day Wednesday. Also having a great week for the holiday as well as tomorrow is Turkey Day. But you know what? Guess what? You know what time it is. I got the hot early spoilers for the Young and the Restless. And oh my God, can we say, yeah, poisonous. And we got to talk about it. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both The Young and the Restless and The Bold and the Beautiful. This is your hot early spoilers for The Young and the Restless for the week of November 27th. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, I gotta send a shout out to Colleen Zink. We remember her from, of course, As the World Turns, and she is back as the villainous villain that we see in this upcoming week. And I'm telling you, first she had to gaslight the heck out of Nikki. I mean, that girl done drunk so much alcohol from the IV pole that was injected into her bloodstream that, of course, that high went straight to her head immediately because there was no filter coming through her liver or the kidneys, right? Well, yeah. And then they gave her, instead of food, they gave her a dinner full of alcohol. Now, if you looked at my recap yesterday, you probably remember I was begging for her to pour that down that bathroom sink, but nope, she didn't make it. And she pretty much drunk the rest of that bottle and she was knocked out. My question is, how is she going to get out of this situation? Because when it comes to Victoria, Victor, and Nick, yeah, I don't think they're going to be going any place anytime soon because Aunt Jordan served them up an ice cold bottle water of poison and that's the thing it was so subtle she snuck that right up under their noses offering them water from the long trip they drunk that water down and she reminded them like you know what this is as serious as a heart attack the same one that you're about to have because you just consumed some poison in that bottle of water that you have drank and you don't have that much long to live and she also said that she's going to enjoy joy watching them die this is going to get crazy my question is what are they feeling in this moment i guess nothing else matters than bickering over the company the co-ceo seat of course nicholas fussing about adam is the problem nate is the problem y'all probably wishing that you would run into nate and adam and speaking of adam there's a little bit of more information with this particular storyline so i know a lot of us have been speculating that Adam is going to be the one that comes and save the day. He's going to be the big hero and I want that too. Well, it looked like there's been some bit of information floating around on Twitter, which is now X, where actually Adam is not going to be the savior in this situation. That is actually going to be Cole. Now, if that's the case, I am not happy about that because this was a way, especially with all of the buildup of everybody hating on Adam, this would have been the prime opportunity for the redemption of Adam in Nikki victoria and even nicholas eyes however it's been speculated that he's not even going to be a part of the storyline please don't let that be true that actually cole is going to be the savior now the thing is of course what we know about cole is cole was married to victoria newman and of course there was this whole ideology of they could have been brother and sister they originally broke up um, we had Victor actually get a DNA test by exhuming his mother's body and come to find out that, you know, he was not the father, so they remarried. Now, let's fast forward to 2023. We now have Cole back on the set. And remember, we saw him the other day because he received a text message with regards to Nikki and Victoria. Now, it looked like at first we thought he was part of the plot. 
but maybe he's not part of the plot and he's also a pawn in Claire and Aunt Jordan's game against the Newmans, especially if if this is true of what's being speculated, that he is actually the savior of the Newmans. If that's the case, writers, I am going to be extremely disappointed because this would have been a missed opportunity for Adam. Because what this means is, is that if Adam is not part of this storyline, that means that they're going to go back to hating him all over again. And we're going to get a barrage of Adam hate continuously, especially if he has nothing to do with what's going to be saving the Newman family. So we'll have to see how this play out. I know a lot of people are going back and forth with the people that are releasing this information that it could be Cole that's going to actually save them. And I don't blame the, you know, the viewers for thinking like, wait a minute, why not Adam? I mean, Abby already knows they kind of pushed her off to the side. She's back in Genoa City. But Adam would have been a perfect candidate, realizing that nobody's at the office. Where is everybody? And then he starts digging into information, realizing that something is off and trace it back to Oregon and save his family. But if they're going to have Cole do this just to bring him back on set for whatever reason, because this is the 50th year. I know we're in the 51st season. But, I mean, if this is a way just to bring him back like other older characters that we had in the past, okay, fine. But, yeah, I think it's a huge missed opportunity for Adam Newman. Okay, so there you have it, your hot early spoilers for The Young and the Restless for the week of November 27. Stay tuned for all of the other spoilers coming up over the holiday weekend. I can't guarantee a specific day on everything coming out. I'll try to fit it in as I will be with family. And I'm hoping you're enjoying this holiday week with your family as well. Have a great holiday tomorrow, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!